live from the studios of Wisconsin Public Television. Fifty dollars, that's money, and I want seventy-five where? Wild, surprising. Are we having fun here? Yeah! Noisy. Lots to see. Talk. Excitement. The hat is gonna go in the fire. Definitely entertainment. We need some overbids. Teamwork. Its own unique animal. Sports night, sports night. Organized chaos. We're gonna have a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, pretty much controlled chaos. Most of the time controlled. It was a beast at times, but boy, what a fun beast. Go! 2000. Yeah, all right, all right. I worked on auction for 34 years and volunteered for one. The first auction was 1976. And I had watched the first auction and local newscasters were the auctioneers and they read the pledge sheets like they read their news. I was just snoozing and I said, you know, I'm an enthusiastic guy, I can do better than that. Go 11 and a quarter. When I first started volunteering, I worked the phones, which was really interesting. Uh, I found myself wanting to, always wanted my, my people to win. Get the auction, good, good, good. And eventually I became the Saturday night closing MC, which I really, really enjoyed. Bid high and win this one. It was in 1979. I was um, watching my son play soccer and one of the mothers kept talking to me about auction and said I should try it. So I went down, did telegetting and stayed through and did warehouse. I came down one day because they said they were looking for people to help at auction. And I stopped in and they started making me write copy. Why not take a look at the show? And having an engineer write copy is kind of a misnomer. I'm at the American Family A Board. And I started working at the station in 1982. Thank you, Karen. One day somebody came in and they said, you know, pick up and pay needs help. And then I kept volunteering more and more so that I was taking vacation time and coming in to volunteer for pick up and pay. Theola, if I say show, will you say case? I'm gonna definitely say case. When I I'm a member of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated, and I said this would be a great volunteer service thing for us to do. And then eventually I asked my brothers of Phi Beta Sigma to come and join me, and it started bringing my church members. So I was like, I'm gonna have fun out there. If I'm gonna do this, we're gonna have fun. Hey, I'm Shell Elliston, the oldest living auctioneer. My dad had a bowler hat and then I started looking for wild or strange hats and it just sort of got out of hand. Hey, the bids are coming in fast. It's beautiful, it's small. Let's get going and now let's get to work. I had 21 at the max. I thought I'd dress up a little bit. I have had people stop me on the street and say, you know, we really love you putting on all those hats. That, that's a good thing for auction. For the typical auction, it took between 800 and almost 1,000 volunteers. There's no way that we could have staff do that. There was a lot of ownership of uh, auction for the volunteers, and I think that without that, the auction would not have happened. They showed up for setting up the phone banks and boards, to paint it, to decorate it, to put the signage up, to set up pick up and pay and confirmation and so forth and so on. It was important for me, actually, because there's no way I could be in all these places at one time. You see the iceberg at the top, but if you go underneath, it's really, really, really deep. People didn't see the really, really deep stuff. They just saw what television presented them, and they didn't see everybody and all the workings happening at the same time. The auction Cabinet was a group of leadership volunteers. These are people that knew their areas, certain areas in particular, extremely well. They wanted it to be the best that it could be. I had a lot of respect for their insight because they had good ideas. They were very, very dedicated to auction understood how auction worked. I really relied on their expertise. The best you have ever hung a lip on. The most fun I've had was volunteering. Everybody was there because they wanted to be there. We know that the auction would not be possible without all these great people. I mean, we want to thank all our volunteers. For a lot of people, it's that idea of, here's something that I can do to help Wisconsin Public Television, you know, some, something that I really love. And they could come in and they could have fun. Oh, that was very weak, but nonetheless. I'm Every year I had a different group of people who worked with me. We just had a blast. Feet to Morgan shoes. They used to like to sing. <laughs> so they'd sing and then everybody else would get to going. So it really made the night really, really fun.
it's the family aspect of it that really drove the whole thing and made it fun. Schaefer Family Group is a group of a bunch of different folks. My wife helped out. As the kids got older, they started helping. Their friends started coming. One of our friends came in from New York every year for the last several years. They would tell you where they worked and who they were with and about their families and their grandchildren. There's hundreds of people that I consider my friends. Many, I haven't a clue what their name is. Now it's really a whole bunch of friends that I wouldn't have otherwise had a chance to even meet. Getting a chance to see them once a year is just a treat. I loved it. I loved auction. I loved the volunteers. The staff at the station in all the departments were tremendous to work with. Wouldn't it be really cool to watch it on an HD TV? Wow. It's a sister and brotherhood, and so the point was to make sure that we got our work done first and yet have fun. That was the bottom line. No matter what, they were there to help auction and help auction be a success. There aren't many things where you can come and have a good time, enjoy good food, and volunteer as a family from young on. I'm Bailey and I'll be working on the F board. Welcome back. It was really fun to watch kids kind of grow up with auction. People have volunteered year after year, and they'd see somebody's kid come in and say, oh my God, have you grown up? And it always just make me happy to see children be engaged in volunteering because that sort of sets that momentum for them as they grow up, that you give and then you get back what you give out. People call it karma, I just call it blessings. <laughs> If you're a person who likes to put things on your feet, and you, I am, you are, it's I true. Am. I've said it many, many times, and it's always been true. Auction happens because of the volunteers. Good night, everybody.